Hi guys, it's album review time. We've got Odd Crew and Dark Matters Part 2. Man, I've been looking forward to this. Um, this is a Bulgarian progressive metal band it formed in 1998. So man, I didn't really think about how long they've been going. Um, I mean, when you talk about 98, if you're old like me, that doesn't seem that long ago, but it is. So they've been going quite a long time. This is the follow-up. As you heard in my title, we start Matters Part 2. This is a follow-up to Part 1 that came out last year. 1st of May, actually, last year. This new album is coming out on November the 10th on Drakkar Entertainment, the same label that brought out Part 1. Um, so only a year has gone, and we've got a year and a bit, and we've got the new album. And man, I love this. This is the perfect follow-up. If you love Dark Matters Part 1, you're going to love this one. Simple as that. But there is some, I would say, some differences, definitely. It's not a massive, um, you know, stray from what I heard on Dark Matters Part 1. And it's one my history with Odd Crew is that Dark Matters Part 1 was the first time I heard them. I know they were a little bit heavier in the past. I've mentioned this before, but I haven't gone back and listened. Um, I haven't really got time to go back and listen. So from Part 1 onwards is where my relationship with Odd Crew comes. Um but of course, the, like I said, this is a perfect follow up. So sometimes very dark and bleak, sometimes, you know, the atmosphere that they provide in their songs. And sometimes in odd times, it's very uplifting in some passages as well. A little bit more, I would say, than Dark Matters Part One. Really clever arrangements. There's a certain feel they've got that runs through this band and their, their music, the atmosphere they bring. I said it is a progressive metal band. and I would say this is a little bit more progressive than Dark Matters Part 1. Um, yeah, odd time signatures here and there. Some very cool instrumentation that comes in, out, in and out of some of the songs. Making a really, really interesting listen. Influences, I would say. Um, it's quite difficult, this band, because they really have got their own identity as well. They don't really sound like anyone else. But they, of course, pull influences from bands that like most bands do. Um... Deftones, Alice in Chains, and listening to the recent Catatonia album, I would say, you know, you could put them, they wouldn't feel out of place on a tour with someone like Catatonia or someone like that. This is actually the seventh studio album. Um, so not, you know, until recently, not that prolific, but now, you know, that's that's two in two years. That's, that's quite cool. Um, and there's no dip in quality. Sometimes if a band brings out an album too quick, it almost... You know, feels like the leftovers from the great album. This is not the case. This sits alongside beautifully, and the you know, and the quality of the tracks is just amazing. So I am going to try and pronounce some um, names in this band because they're from Bulgaria. You got Vasco Rakoff on the vocals. What a great vocal he's got, man! Is like a soothing warmth to his vocal. He is just an amazing vocalist, and he's one of those guys, you know. Some of the songs have come on in my car and my lovely wife has said, is that Odd Crew? And she hasn't heard the song before. So that's, you know, you just know his voice. He's got such a character and it's just unmistakable. And that's what I really love that about vocalists. If they can stand out, that's brilliant. But he's got a real warmth about his voice. You know, the way it glides along sometimes and sort of almost whispery. And then and he never goes into this sort of aggressive extreme vocal is always at this sort of lovely smooth warmth he's got to his vocals some great melody he brings and it, you know you know you can almost you're almost there with him in the room especially on the quieter parts on this album Vasil Pavanovsky on the guitars um yeah I mean this is a quite a heavy album um it's quite beautiful as well so there's lots of atmosphere running through it there's you know this isn't fresh or anything like that all songs are either sort of slow or got a couple of fast bits in them but it's mainly at this sort of medium pace which i love um but the guitar work is great there's some great soloing and what i love about vasil is that the the emotion he puts into a solo every one of them you can feel the emotion running through it because it just matches the emotion that's in the song already because that's, that's what this band give off plenty of emotion plenty of feels and then on the bass You've got Martin Stoyanov, and on the drums, you've got Boyan Georgiev. Man, this outfit, and I actually looked at them as well. They have been together, the, the four people in the band, since 98. So that's amazing in itself. Usually, 
in bands, don't you? They don't stick together like that. I mean, that's 20, what's that, 25 years with the same musicians, and no wonder you can feel it in the music. It's just rock solid, so tight. Love the rhythm section of this band. It's, it's just brilliant. There's some great parts of a lot of these songs where they go off on a brilliant instrumental section and you get the bass, drums, and the, and the guitar just hitting in perfect sync in some really quite difficult arrangements it's amazing stuff they are as tight as you like and like i said this is a little bit more progressive than part one but never progressive for progressive sakes i mean it's not like we're going to just try and show you how clever we are within a song just to show you we, we can play it difficult it's always thinking about the song um i never get really get taken out of the groove at all during this it's it's amazing it's a perfect follow-up like i said there's an amazing start to this album and the first two tracks which are the first two singles are just mind-blowing we get the first song wings on a burning wind This was the first single, eight minutes and 43 seconds long. So they, the band also not frightened to, you know, hit you with a, they did it on Dark Matters Part 1. Mor uh, Morning Lights was a really long song, slow. This one's a bit heavier than that though. Um, what an intro this has. They, they, this band really knows how to build an atmosphere through an intro. And that intro leads you to a, a heavy, dark groove that has an amazing sort of droning riff. Uh, the song almost comes to a standstill. It's like the, the the intro is amazing, and these sort of warm vocals kick in at two and a half minutes, um, and then you're sold. It's absolutely brilliant. It's like an old friend. Then vocals are like an old friend. It's come back, and you're like, yeah, here we go. Another Odd Crew album. Another brilliant track. The song sort of glides in a beautiful sort of progressive groove. It's an amazing track. And then we hit the second single, the latest single, In Silence. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Don't know what else to do. Seven minutes and 33 seconds long, this one. So, and if you thought we couldn't get any better than the, than the first song, well, it sort of does. The band's sort of progressive side kicks in a little bit more in this song. That, that riff that kicks in the beginning um, and then the vocals going over the top of it. It takes you a while to get into the groove of it, but when it does, it really hits home. At the 244 mark, there's like an Eastern flavoured acoustic guitar comes just comes out of nowhere. It's a beautiful addition that sort of elevates the track even more somehow. Um, I love the inventive nature of this band and th this song it's probably the one of the most inventive songs they've done in my you know experience with odd crew maybe my favorite track um i've ever heard from this band and that's saying something then i want to talk about track four which is closer another eight minute track i think there's long songs they do this band there are some four and five minute tracks but i think the long songs really really hit home more the band sort of Alice in Chains influence sort of comes through here, that drone that they excel at. A beautiful, uplifting chorus though, like a beautiful chorus with an acoustic guitar sort of sitting perfectly alongside the electric guitar. A different side to the band, I think, that sees a bit more brightness, a bit more colour as the band usually give off this. But alongside those colourful sort of elements, it's still a dark, beautiful song in other places. Thin Air is track six. I want to talk about that one. Again, I feel some of those Alice in Chains influence here a little bit. A heavy, crunchy, groove laden, um, almost giving those Cantrell-esque backing vocals that come in and out. I did mention influences. I do say that because sometimes it's good to give you, know, you the listener, some ideas of what you might get. Uh, but this band has definitely got one of the most interesting original sounds out there. They do stand alone. Um, just listen to that part just after the two minute mark, man. Um, you sort of get like this female chanting type vocal comes in before a beautiful instrumental section. Amazing song. And then I also want to talk about the last song on the album, um, A Thousand Smiles. Just a six and a half minute one, this one. Last track. The band really stripped the sound back as you mainly have guitar and vocals for for the most part during this song um a heartfelt emotional guitar solo just tops off a track that will have you just close your eyes and you just lose yourself and that's what i do with this band they're one of them bands they're like man th you just lose yourself in their music um a great finish to another excellent release so i'm really excited to see 
you know, where this band's going to go after this. Um, obviously, Red Dark Matters part one and then part two. Is that going to end there? Are we going to get anything else along the Dark Matter sort of thing? Although they, I don't think they're particularly concept albums. Um, it's interesting to see where they're going to go because I know their past has been heavier stuff as well. But, you know, I, all I've known for Odd Crew is, like I said, Dark Matters part one and part two. I've discovered them last year in 2022. So glad I have. Um, so I'm really interested to see where they're going to go from here. But what an amazing band. What a, an original bit of music as well they give off. Guys, if you love a little bit of progressive music, but not too much, but you love your music like dipped in so much atmosphere, this band give it to you. November the 10th, on Drac Art Entertainment, this album's coming out. It's Odd Crew, it's Dark Matters Part 2. Let me know, guys, if you're going to give it a listen, if you're going to give it a go in the comments below, and I'll see you soon.